Propylidin Brothers is here today at DLV. So we are right along Delvi Road, right in District 10, a very private landed enclave, just a five minute walk right on to Stevens MRT station. Today we have a massive two bedroom plus study layout that we want to show you right here. So this one can also be converted to an investment potential for a full three bedroom or maybe a dual key type of layout. So let's take a look inside and let's go check this out. So we are coming in from the main patio space from the unit itself. So of course this is a ground floor unit right over here. But just to share a bit more on the project itself here at DLV, of course this is a freehold nature. TOP date was in 2005. So all in all, there's 25 units right within the development itself. So this is spread across four stories. And the units here are made of the one bedders, two bedders, two plus study, three plus study, and the penthouses. So sizes wise, there is quite a bit of variations. You have from the 667 square feet up to the 3714 square feet. That is the biggest type of layer. Out, those are the penthouses that we have here. So if you're looking for that two plus study layout, which of course gives you that flexibility to convert into a three bedder or into a different kind of dual key setup, then probably you want to take a look at the two plus study type of layouts here. So if you drive right along Delvi Road, of course, you'll see the exterior of this project, which is DLV. And first thing you'll notice is that DLV is a low rise, low density development. Of course, within this entire lander and cliff, that makes this a very exclusive development that you want to stay in. Furthermore, this one is a patio unit so it really adds on to the fact that this is really like a landed type of living right here in this unit itself so i think in terms of a lower density project just 25 units right over here i think for the facilities wise has already been catered for what we have here of course is very sustainable right from this unit itself this is facing towards the infinity pool now i think this is a very good size in terms of the pool right over here this is smacked right in the center of the development so it stretches across the entire central portion of the development together with your other facilities of course your gym as well as the pool deck and barbecue pits are right on over here as well so just outside the main door that is of course the lift that brings you down to the basement parking so i think that's really convenient <music> So let's now talk a bit more on the location right over here for DLV. So we are located right here along Delvi Road, a very private type of landed enclave in District 10. So this is just a five minute walk right on to the Stevens MRT station. And that is now currently serving the downtown line. That is one stop down and you'll hit Botanic Garden. That serves the Circle Line. One stop in the other direction, that is towards Newton and that can take you to the north-south line. So I think for connectivity wise, this is really convenient for what we have here at DLV. Of course, another reason why a lot of families love staying right within this region because of the many schools that we have that are surrounding this region. Of course, Singapore Chinese Girls Primary School is within the one kilometer radius. Then we also have ACS and also the Eton International School. So just to add on as well, if you want to go out for a weekend of fun, you have Jacob Bala's Children's Garden and of course not forgetting also Raffles Town Club is just within the vicinity. So without further ado, let's now take a look at the interior of the home. So right over here, that is your entrance that's to the lift that's right to the car park. So this is where you're going to be coming home from if you're driving. And then of course, for this unit, you have multiple entrances. So first one right over here, that is your patio space. So I think that's really great that your patio space stretches all the way through your living and dining space. So of course, if you're having friends or families over right in this house, I think that's really great. You can just open up the sliding doors and that kind of opens up your entire gathering space. The overall theme of this house has been done with this very nice, delicate type of balance style design in terms of the ID treatment throughout this place. So nice wallpapers and of course backed by this entire wooden type of feature wall. So right now we have a three-seater type of sofa setup but of course there's lots of cabinets that has been placed right over there together with the lamps and the side tables. If you want to place sort of a four or five-seater L-shaped sofa, I think this one is still plenty of space for you to do that. And of course, take note as well that there's still space right behind the sofa here because the sofa has been edged a bit closer to the TV. So the width right over here, that's about 4 meters. So I think there's plenty of space and plenty of distance that you can have. So for this unit right here, this is 1453 square feet. Quite a gigantic amount of space for a 2 bedder type of layout. So that is why the owners have fitted in a ceiling type of cassette aircon right over here. And of course, later on, George will share with you a bit more if you're looking to do some sort of rental investment play with this unit. <music> 
So now let's move on to the dining room space. So dining room right now is set up with like a six seater backed by this very nice feature right behind us. So I think this provides a very nice setup if you're having like a more formal dinner or you're having some friends over. And together of course with this hanging type of drop down lights that provides a very different sort of ambience to this entire space. So of course, if you take a look at the patio space, it's been decked up with lots of greenery right along the planter boxes over here. So I think that really helps to provide lots of shade and privacy. So I think one common concern for patio units, most people are afraid that you have like the neighbours upstairs who maybe drop some stuff down onto your patio space or it's more exposed to the weather conditions. But this one has already been catered for. So this one extends right out over your patio space. So I think overall for this amount of space right here, it makes it extremely usable. So that one of course is your other entrance that you can come in. So I think this is a very nice touch that kind of complements the Balinese interior style of the home. So now let's move on to our kitchen zone. So right now the kitchen is more in the central location right beside the dining area. So of course the entrance is greeted by these two very nice art paintings that kind of gives you a very grand type of entrance into the space. So right over here we got some storage spaces because the electrical board is right within there as well. And this is where you can place a washer, dryer and more storage cabinets on the upper and lower level. So right now what we have here is also a glass sliding door. So this one is also enclosable if you are doing some heavy cooking. Right tucked at this corner you have some pantry spaces for you to put some of your electrical appliances dedicated fridge space i think space wise sufficient you can definitely fit in like a two-door fridge in there so now let's move on to the main cooking zone so this entire countertop is done up with this entire slab of granite so i think this kind of tone is really unique so lots of top and bottom camera tree that's already been fully done up with this light system so of course that's a german word if i'm not wrong that's for light means that it's light to the touch it's light to open and very easy to close moving on to the cooker right over here you have the cooker hood and cooker hob miller branded cookers and then you also have the oven and then right over here you have your washer and basin area you also have a window right over here for ventilation so if you are doing some heavy cooking you can just open that right up and then close the sliding door so i think overall for this kitchen it's been really smartly designed. So right now, I'll pass the time on to George who will take you through the rest of the unit and also talk to you more about the pricing comparison and the investment potential that we have for this unit right here at DLV. So before we check out the rest of the bedrooms, why not we talk a little bit deeper into the pricing analysis right here in District 10. Now if you are to take a look at some of the developments around here, they are belonging to the newer as well as the older type of developments. Of course, the newer type of developments, they tend to be slightly more compact as the design evolves over the years. And those type of developments for a two-bader, they are standing at about 600 to 700 plus square feet. And of course, with an older development, you tend to get a slightly larger in terms of the layout and they are between 900 to 1000 over square feet in size. Now, of course, for newer developments, land price as well as labor costs, material costs have increased over the years. Generally, for a newer developments, while they are quantum for a two-bader, range about two over a million, the PSF is currently standing at about 2005, 2006 to some even approaching 3,000 PSF. Now for slightly older developments, you will see that you have some other developments that are standing at 1,000 over square feet and some of them are belonging to a penthouse in nature and that also means that you have a portion of the floor area that belongs to the roof terrace. So if you are looking for a two bedder that is crossing 1,000 over square feet and you want to keep the PSF to be below 2,000 while keeping the entire quantum to be at a sweet spot of 2 over million, then I think this is the one for you. Because for this particular 2 plus study unit, we are standing at a luxurious space of 1,453 square feet. And if you have to put into today's context, you will notice that for this size, it is hardly the size of a 3 bedder even in today's context. So to get this kind of luxurious space, that also means that we have a lot of flexibility to configure this space and I'll share more with you as we move along. Now, this 2 plus study is in a dumbbell layout and what that means is that you have two bedrooms that are tucked to both ends and that will give a lot of flexibility in terms of how you want to configure. And some of the reason why people love this kind of configuration is that you can encounter an area for rental purposes. I'll share more with you on that. Mm. 
As you move on to the master bedroom, you will see that you have a luxurious space. This is currently a king size. You can easily fit up to an Australian king with ample of space to move around. You have two huge panels of sliding wardrobe right here. Of course, if you want to configure, you can easily remove this. Again, hacking cost is not going to cost a lot. And as you move right over here, you have your own private balcony space. So just check out what our owners have done. They have put in all these beautiful pebbles. So I think it's a good area that you can stand outside because we are overlooking towards the back of another landed property. So that gives you a lot of privacy. Of course, if you want, you can install retractable awnings right along here. Attached bathroom is great inside. You have a sunken bath right here with ventilation window. Everything is still in immaculate condition. Now as we head over to the other bedroom, we are currently standing at the study area. So there's a lot of potential that can be done for this area. You can either choose to leave it as it is, can be a mini lounge area or a study area. Or what you can do is, if you want to expand your bedroom, you can remove this section of the wall so that it enlarges your entire bedroom space. You can then bring the wardrobe out over to this area, thereby enlarging your bedroom space. And right over here is the common bathroom. Again, we have a ventilation window, so that's going to keep the entire bathroom clean. Now heading over to the bedroom, you will also see that this is a bedroom that is attached to its own personal balcony. This bedroom is the same exact facing as the master bedroom, so you can potentially do the exact same thing for your master. This is currently a single size. Of course, with the two side labels, that gives you the sense of space that you can easily put up to a queen or even a king size with ample of room to move around. Now you can hardly find a bedroom that allows you to put in such a huge study desk right over here. So this gives you a sense of space of how big this entire area can potentially be. Now, of course, if you want to further reduce your monthly mortgage, now what can potentially be done is that you can convert this living area into another bedroom. You can easily install a wall over here at this section. So this bedroom will then come with its own personal balcony space. And of course, privacy will then be protected because you are able to install zip track. So in this manner, you will be able to rent out two bed, one bath. And I think to put it at a very conservative rate of about 3,005 to 4,000, that will further reduce your entire monthly mortgage outlay. Now, of course, if you do cut out this area to be another bedroom, then what can potentially be done is that you can then deck up your entire balcony and you can have your dining space right over here and convert this into a proper living area. Now, those are just some of the possibilities that you are able to explore. But otherwise, I think this is a great area that you and your family can enjoy just because we have this huge space. You have the swimming pool just right outside as well as within close proximity to botanic gardens as well as towards the town area with MRT that is just stationed nearby. So I think this is a great place that you can truly enjoy together with your family given its free host status. Right here in District 10, the MCST fee is only at about $600 per month. Now that is extremely affordable for a boutique development that is low density in nature. And I think you should seriously consider this development if you are looking for a unit right here in D10 with a huge space. We drove to New Jersey, your eyes sing, I'll be worried. So if you're looking for development that is freehold in status, two plus studies standing at a staggering size of 1453 square feet and you want to keep the entire PSF to be below 2,000, entire quantum to be at the 2 odd million range. Yeah, so you want to be in District 10 as well, just 5 minutes drive away to the Orchard Shopping Belt. Lots of great schools and amenities right within the vicinity. You want to enjoy the convenience of being in a private development, yet enjoy that type of landed lifestyle with this patio unit. Do contact our listing manager, are you, for physical viewing. My name is George Ping. Kevin Chan. Problem Brothers, always, always happy, happy to, to show, show you the place. So I think for connectivity, right? So I think for connectivity, <laughs> and also the Eton 8, and also the <laughs> So without further, so of course dining rooms that kind of gives you a very kind of great that kind of landed living lifestyle right over here for this unit. Then, so, <laughs> so do contact our.